Welcome back. It is another video. We are talking coffee today. I asked you guys over on my Instagram channel what you wanted to see more of and an overwhelming respect. Bleh. An overwhelming response was coffee. So, whew, ha, 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 ha. I feel nervous. I feel nervous. I haven't done this in a while. So Flair reached out, they saw what you guys wanted more coffee, and they happen to have this product on Kickstarter. This is a prototype here, because it is not released. What we have, if you guys remember, I did a review on the Flair Pro 2. It puts out a very, very high, high quality espresso. It is pretty difficult to use, and it takes a lot of time, because you have to dial in your grind, you have to have special grinders, if you guys remember. <sighs> Kino had sent over this special stepless grinder, which is really, really amazing. The problem is, this is an expensive grinder. The machine, the Flare Pro 2 is pretty expensive, um, and it's a little out of reach. So, those of you that know anything espresso know how important it is to have a proper grind in your espresso. So what Flare did is they came out with a pressurized or flow-controlled portafilter. That way, no matter what grind size we're at, it's going to control how quickly the water is going through there. So if you have a, a blade grinder, or a grinder like a Baratz Encore, which is what I'm going to be using today, then you're not going to run into any issues with the water going through your espresso really, really fast and then basically not giving you a good shot of espresso because there's no pressure. A lot of people are wondering, it, does the Neo make as good of espresso as the Pro? And the answer is a little bit complicated, yes, and also no. If you have the proper equipment, if you have a good grinder, a stepless grinder or something, then no, you can get a higher quality espresso out of the Pro. But um, if you're working with a blade grinder or you're not able to dial it in that well, then this is gonna be the one that you want. Not to mention, you can actually upgrade this portafilter by a new one that's not pressurized so that you can basically do the same thing that you can do with the Pro. It's gonna be a little bit different, um, but it'll allow you to kind of grow with the machine instead of being stuck at this level. So anyways, let's get into the brewing. I've used this once before, I'm gonna do it again. So I've already heated up the brew chamber and I'm gonna be doing 17 grams of coffee. Today I'm gonna be brewing with Corvus um, because that is what I have on hand. Also, thank you Katie for sending me this bowl. One of my subscribers here on YouTube, she handmade this. I think it's really cool. I'll leave an Instagram link for those of you that are interested in seeing some of her work. Thank you very much. What am I doing? Where'd my coffee go? What did I just do with my coffee? Huh. All right, 17 grams are going in. I used this once before and the thing that I really, really loved about it is that when I had the Pro, it took me hours to dial in. It was really, really hard to get dialed in. Granted, I got an amazing quality espresso, so it's a little bit of a give and a take. But with this one, I ground it on a zero setting on the Baratza Encore, which is not a super, super fine grinder. And I put it in here, made the coffee, and made great espresso on the first pull. And I was so, so, so impressed with the simplicity and ease of use. Those of you that are in like my age group and are on the run and on the go a little bit more, this is something that maybe you can actually squeeze into your morning routine without having to get all like weird with it, you know? So you can grind a little bit of coffee, throw it in there, ta -ta -cha, nail this thing, get out with a good cup of espresso. Okay, so we've got our coffee grounds here. Again, not super, super amazingly ground or very consistent. However, it is gonna do the trick because we have our pressurized filter. So, what I'm gonna do, go ahead and load the espresso into the porta filter. Zero, stop meowing. If you can hear my cats, I'm sorry. Okay, good. And then I'm just gonna give this a little tamp with the tamper that comes with the Neo. Obviously trying to get it as flat as I can. I can't really see well, and maybe this isn't an ideal way to tamp. Um, however, if you'd like, you can upgrade actually and get a little miniature hand tamper that's gonna make that's gonna help you do a little bit better job. However, today I'm just showing you guys what we have with the base kit. So I'm gonna get a little cup here. This cup was sent to me by Kruv Glassware. They're a really amazing company. I'm gonna use it today because it's see-through so you guys can see a little bit better about what's going on here. Okay, now I have my brew chamber. I'm gonna place that on top. I've been preheating that with my kettle. And then now what we're going to do is we're just going to load the water in the top here. our little pressure thingy, my thingy thingy. And then now we're just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. And we're gonna give a slow even pressure and see what we get here. Again, the flow being controlled by the porta filter and not by the compactness of the espresso. So we're gonna give it a little bit of pressure here. Already seeing a little bit of crema, it's looking really good. Oh wow. Look at that. It's looking really nice. We got a good heart, good line of crema already forming. 
And I'm we're getting pretty close to the bottom here. I'm feeling the pressure leave up a little bit. I'm gonna slowly let off the pressure. I don't know if you guys just saw Sirius. And here we have an amazing cup of espresso, just like that. You can actually do this with a blade grinder. You don't even need to use a burr grinder. So the thing that's nice about this is the ease of access to everyone. Also, the other models of this are gonna cost you a little bit more. This one's running under $100 right now. Um, and I think it's even cheaper than that on their Kickstarter if you get in early. I'm gonna try this. Oh yeah. That's what I want out of espresso, especially I, I didn't actually end up using the, the Pro 2 too much just because uh, the days that I want espresso, I don't really want to take too much time to dial it in. Once you get really, really into it and you're making espresso every day, it's not hard. But with this, it's not hard in the first place. It's really easy to just pull out a really good, I'm gonna keep drinking this. It's easy to just get a good cup of espresso without really trying that hard, and that's the nice thing about it. Especially if you have groups of people over and you're trying to get, you know, you're trying to hand grind a bunch of espresso because everyone wants an espresso and you're trying to impress your friends or whatever, it's gonna take you forever. And you're gonna have a dead arm by the end of it. So this is really just more accessible to everyone. And I'm super excited about this because this summer, this is what I want. This is what I wanna be able to do is to make a good cup of espresso without spending a bunch of time. For those of you that don't wanna buy $300 hand grinders and $300 espresso machines, this is gonna be right up your alley. I'm excited to do a couple things, do some ice lattes, do some, um, I saw something online, someone using the same thing and just doing like an ice cream affogato. This is a really, really easy way to do that. And if this is anything like the Pro that I'm assuming, then we can actually do cold shots um, and not even have to heat up the water, especially now that we have a pressurized brew chamber. It's taking a lot of the skill out of our hands and putting it in the hands of the portafilter, which is really, really nice. We're gonna be able to pump out espresso a lot quicker than maybe we used to do. So I have to say, this may not be as expensive of a model, but this is the model that I would want. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm already getting shaky from this espresso. I probably shouldn't be drinking this whole thing. Calm down, breathe. Anyways, this is gonna be my review of the Lair, guys. It is on Kickstarter right now. Go take a look there. I know it has a little bit of a price drop right now. If you are looking to get into espresso and you wanna make good quality espresso without breaking the bank, this is the way to go. And not to mention, there's a lot of machines out there, guys. I'm sure you've gone to a friend's house and they've been like, yeah, I got espresso and they got a weird little machine or a pod thing. Those things are doing the exact same thing as this, which is using a pressurized port filter. You may not know it, but that's one nice thing about Flair is that since they have such good coffee experts at their disposal, they're telling you this is a pressurized port filter and they're telling you how to use it and why they have it. They have both models, a wide range. So this is a great way to get into espresso. And like I said, the port filter is upgradable. So if you wanna get into this, try it out for a little while. And maybe over the course of the next year, when you're able to afford or would like to spend money on a, on a burr grinder, maybe one by Kinu, um, then you can just upgrade the portafilter head, pay a little bit of money, and get a whole new capability of espresso. So you're not stuck at this one level. When I'm looking at entry level espresso, this is gonna give you the most range. You can start from the beginning ground. Actually, this is definitely better than beginning. Start from a medium ground and work your way up into a high end espresso instead of <clears throat> starting at the bottom. And then now when you're ready to upgrade to a new espresso, you gotta sell a new machine, get a whole new one. I don't want this to come off like an ad. This is a review of a product that I really, really love. And I would recommend to you guys that are really trying to get into this. So let me know what you guys would like to see more of. I have been reaching out to a couple different Different coffee companies I realize that you guys love these videos and I am totally willing to do more so in the meantime if you guys would help me out drop a like push subscribe button come over check out my Instagram where I do Instagram stuff I don't know whatever that is gonna wrap up our flare espresso view review for today because I have to get this back to them because they only have one prototype and their engineer is gonna kill me if I do anything wrong with it so I'm going to get it out of my hands before I drop it or before I use it too much because, oh my gosh, I'm feeling the espresso, feeling it. Anyways, um, what was I, how do I end these things again? Dude, the espresso is messing with my head. It's giving to me. Um, I'm gonna drink the rest of this. Whoa, oh man, that's powerful. Well done. Hello, you've reached the end of the video. Those of you boys who have stuck around, it's been a while since I did a post video thingy, 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 thingy. Um, and I just wanna say for those of you that stick around, actually I really appreciate you. Um, during this last um, quarantine and couple months that I've been off, you guys have been encouraging me to come back. I really appreciate that you guys are here. It's crazy to me that there's so many of you on here, um, especially when this, I don't know, it just kinda got here out of nowhere. So I appreciate you guys. I see that you guys comment below. I know some of your names. 
Um, and I appreciate you guys following the content and being a part of it. So thank you guys. I'll catch you on the next one.